All right, hey team, uh, I'm PC Sweeney, and clearly I'm back from the R Squared conference. Uh, I'm back on my one of my boats in San Francisco Bay, and I uh, just want to talk real quick about my experience with R Squared um, and how it relates to Eureka and Info People. Um, I really want to thank Eureka and Info People for giving me uh, the experience and the opportunity to go uh, take part in the R Squared conference. But let me talk real quick. So I made a video before about R Squared. And uh, it was rejected because I didn't talk enough about uh, the non-socializing things. Um, I really think that that is one of the most important things that I got out of both Eureka and R Squared are these opportunities to connect with professionals who honestly just blow my mind, who are doing incredible things, who are doing uh, amazing advocacy projects, who are doing amazing programming, who are doing amazing things to help not only the profession but their patrons. Um, I had that opportunity in Eureka. Um, we had a really, really great group of people, um, and the same thing applied to R Squared because some of the people that I knew from Eureka were at R Squared. We got to connect again. We got to talk about a lot of the projects that we're excited about and really get inspired uh, about about the, some of the things that we're doing. So if you guys at Eureka right now, um, take the opportunity at night to go meet the people around you, the people from other groups. Uh, take the time to really connect and and find some mentors or some mentees or just learn from each other and be both to everybody. Uh, this is a really amazing experience for you, I think. Um, as it goes back to R squared, um, I didn't know what to say at first because this last month has been pretty transitional for me. There's a lot of big decisions that I want to make right now as far as where I want to go in the profession, what kinds of things I want to do. Um, I have some projects that I'm working on, some side projects. You know, I got the, there it is, the story sailboat um, project. Uh, I've got other things that I'm, that I'm trying to decide how much time and dedication I want to put towards those things. Um, and R squared really kind of hit home about taking risks and, and doing the kinds of things that, that uh, are going to get me the rewards that, um, that I'm looking for, kind of w being rewarded with a successful project. Um, and, and, and really connecting with my patrons, really connecting with my community, doing some great advocacy work. Um, I had a lot of the same experiences at Eureka, in fact. Um, I got to know uh, a lot of people, like I said, who were doing some great projects, who really inspired me to go out and take a lot of risks. Um, right after Eureka, um, I jumped out and did a couple of things that I had been thinking about for a while that I was kind of putting off. Um, don't do that. Meet people. Um, uh, learn from them, have them inspire you, uh, and, and grow from the people around you. I know there's a lot of fun activities that are going to push you outside of your comfort zone at Eureka. We did a lot of the same things at the Risk and Reward Conference. Um, and, and, and take those opportunities to push yourself a little bit farther, get a little uncomfortable, um, and learn to get the rewards from all those risks that you're taking out there.